A 20-year-old cold case cracked. The remains of a missing 16-year-old girl have been found in Volusia County. They were dug up near Ormond Beach. This is our big story tonight at 5:30. Autumn McClure was last seen in 2004. Yeah, the sheriff says that she was with her boyfriend before she disappeared. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay spoke with the sheriff about how they cracked this case. There really never is a quote unquote cold case. Volusia Sheriff Mike Chitwood says it took 20 years to uncover the truth. He says 16 year old Autumn McClure was dropped off by her boyfriend at the Seabreeze Bridge in 2004, and her family never saw her again. This week, crews worked to dig up what are likely her remains. Pending positive identification, which we should, we should get here very shortly. Over the years, detectives kept checking on the case, and it wasn't until 2021 that they got a major break. A call from a man saying an associate of his confessed to killing Autumn. He basically tells the detective, I got to get this off my chest. The associate's name was Brian Donnelly. One year after that phone call, Donnelly died following a medical procedure. Karma is a Soon after, a woman named Jessica Freeman came forward. She told detectives Autumn had been living with her and Brian when she disappeared. They were involved in a sexual relationship with Autumn. Now keep in mind, Brian was 31 at the time, Autumn was 16. After the promise of immunity. She also goes on to tell us that she came home one afternoon and saw Brian choking Autumn in the bathroom. When by the time she intervened, she saw that uh, uh, Autumn was lifeless and she left the how she left the trailer with this information and a general area where the body was buried the department recruited the help of dr lyra sutton a forensic scientist radar technology helped locate the remains believed to be autumn's this was really an extremely intense and resource heavy operation but all of the factors came together to help us achieve our successful outcome Chitwood says he's glad they were able to get the McClure family the closure they deserve. The sad part is he'll never face in this world for the evil that he perpetrated. But sure enough, I'm, ho I'm hoping that God, when he took his last breath on May 26th of 2022, that maybe he had a vision of where the hell he was headed. In Volusia County, Chris Lindsay, Fox 35 News.